since Nigeria and Sudan. It's an extremely positive step taken by this administration at this very, very early stage of its existence. It will go a very, very long way, probably beyond what you and me can imagine today, you know, to alleviate the suffering that children, our children, those, those that are unfortunate, particularly those that are fortunate to have parents that are well to do. This bill is virtually guaranteeing every child of this country an opportunity to get good education. We support it and uh, we stand with the president shoulder to shoulder, you know, in ensuring that this bill, its implementation becomes easy and becomes a duty that every person involved with government and support for our great party government will make sure it succeeds. Your Excellency, we must also commend you that uh, your party that you lead has been able to provide, um, to, to produce new leadership uh, at the National Assembly. Uh, what would you say has led to the successful uh, emergence of these new leaders? Very, very thorough consultation. Respect for all those who deserve respect. This is what took us through this, you know, uh, very, very important step a very important uh, arm of government. And for people who don't know, the people who are into constitutional uh, law, the legislature is the first estate. And uh, no government can claim we are there, we are stable, we've got a government, the, the system that we operate without you know, ensuring that the National Assembly is in stead. And this is what we've achieved today. It, has, it wasn't easy coming you know, to this point, but we thank God Almighty that uh, so much has been done and so much lessons have been learned uh, in the course of this endeavor. Uh, there is time for everything, and uh, God is the giver of power and influence. God has chosen the gentlemen uh, today for the Senate presidency and the deputy president of the Senate and then the speaker and the deputy speaker, you know, of the, the two chambers of the National Assembly. And uh, what is left now for us, the party to sit, you know, and uh, determine, you know, the remaining, you know, members of the president, you know, who are what we call, you know, uh, 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 each of these principal officers has got a deputy, you know, and then of course the majority leader of each of the chambers. We are going to sit over this and uh, we want to believe that uh, we are going to waste no time whatsoever. We'll come up with what we give uh, the president to get his buy-in before it's made public or before it goes to the National Assembly. This today is very historic. All right, and so now as the father of the party and as an experienced legislator too, um, what would be your advice to these new leaders of the National Assembly uh, from the background that some people are afraid that they may be um, a rubber stamp in the hands of the executive? No, 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 no. no. I, I think that is all but our presumption, people. People have states of mind, sometimes positive and sometimes negative. Uh, I have reason to believe that the people that have emerged ultimately a choice of the legislators as elected by our people. And I believe they will do well. I believe they will represent the yearnings and aspirations of our people. And they believe, I believe they will take this as a trust and uh, ensure that whatever they do, they do it in promoting of the national unity and ensuring that the government policies do not suffer in the altars of the chambers of the National Assembly. Um, we will give them all the support they need to be sure that uh, they, they succeed. Um, all the fears that are being expressed, you know, can't stop it with human beings, you know, and, uh, but uh, let us give them a trial, a fair trial. I'm sure they would not fail. They've gone through the crucible of, of democratic, you know, governance within the chambers. And I'm sure those of them who are now privileged to have been elected to lead will not betray the trust. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, sir.